A promising young talent with a lot of swagger. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Boston, Massachusetts. Weighing in at 210 pounds, Carmelo Hayes! Look, I have to admit, I hold Melo in very high regard. His impressive ascension has been nothing short of meteoric. Multiple title wins, main event matches, this young man has quickly done it all. With no signs of slowing down anytime soon, Hayes has ambition, talent, and motivation to spare. Tonight might just be Carmelo Hayes' next big victory. The czar of WWE, Ilya Dragunov. And his opponent from Moscow, Russia, weighing in at 187 pounds. This dude is downright explosive, like a lit stick of dynamite with a very short fuse. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Carmelo says he won't stop until he's number one in this industry, but this superstar stands in his way tonight. You know, I kind of like that Ilya Dragunov goes at every opponent with full intensity. You can even see it as a sign of respect. He takes every match just as seriously as the last. He never phones it in. That's a good point, Byron. No matter the challenge, Dragunov always has the same hard-headed mentality to win. In the opposite corner is the man who says he's simply the greatest. Melo is not just motivated to win, he's driven to change the game. When Carmelo Hayes stops and pops, he gets the win. So to him, the idea that someone's going to take him down is lunacy. A continuous attack on Hayes. This is Ilya firing on all cylinders. Oh, man. He's feeling the effects of that last hit. Dragunov really bringing the fury there. What a shoulder block. Ooh, treading all over their opponent. Hooked it. You're a noggy. Staggering to his feet, but he won't like what's coming next. Look out. The dive. That is the attitude of a daredevil. The ability to take risk with minimal trepidation. No fear, absolute reckless abandon. Oh, so much damage inflicted. Guys, they are getting way too close for comfort here. Yeah, I've seen this before, it? Sleeper holds cinch and breaks out of the sleeper. to the face, elbows to the temple. Momentum going back to Ilya's corner. Time for Dragunov to get his energy up and claw back into the fight. So 
The referee counted, urging them to get in the ring. Counters that with an arm drag. Okay, he's re-entering the ring. Things seem to be escalating between them. Yeah, Michael, what started as a disagreement looks like it has turned into... Oh, it's it's down. Line. It's cinched in. We're going to free the arm and does just that. Ripcord, lap it. And shoulders are down. Two. He narrowly avoids the count. He thought he had it. Big forearm. Uh-oh. This isn't going to be pretty. Nice suplex. Waist Ross. lift. Yeah, raw power there. Whoa, what? This one's all but over. Wait a minute. Early kick out. Referee right on top of the action. It'll take more than that to hold him down. Dragunov is out of the way. This is in total disbelief right now. And Dragunov realizing he'll have to come back twice as strong for the next one. And we know that... Up high! Whoa! What a landing! That's gravity taking a break before coming down like thunder. And he throws the opposition back into the ring. Down to opponent! And a double axe handle smash. Dragunov controlling the pace now. Carmelo has to find an opening and respond. Wow, what a spine buster. Counter. And now there's an opening. Evading offense. Seeing an answer for every move attempted. He was waiting for him to make his move. Oh, not what Hayes intended. Oh, running FTO plants him. Nicely done. Up high. Beautiful dive. Hayes is being cut down at every corner. Dragging off with endless attacks here. Man, what an upset. An absolute upset. I am in disbelief. I still don't know if what we saw was oh. real. That was uncalled for. This superstar has completely lost it. Big E, you ready to throw down here tonight? The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing the New Day from Tampa, Florida. Weighing in at 285 pounds, Big E! A man who possesses freakish power and crazy athleticism. Make no mistake about it, this man truly rocks. And they don't call him big for nothing. The big, strong boy. And his opponent from Dublin, England. Weighing in at 
175 pounds, Tyler Bates! Tyler may be all smiles backstage, but he brings the fight when it counts. Yeah, man has been proud to represent an entire generation on a continent. He's proud of his past in the United Kingdom and Europe, but now he looks to conquer the world. Few competitors can match Bates' in-ring fundamentals. Indeed, a guy who knows his game inside and out. Tyler Bate can keep it high class in textbook or get down and dirty. here tonight clearly ready for action ready for action and ready to take control the way only Big E can with the power of positivity and of course the literal power and strength that only Big E possesses we'll see if Big E can utilize the strength in this matchup and he's face to face with one of the top superstars to come out of the UK Tyler Bate Bate appreciates and respects the historic British superstars who came before him, but he's doing things his way. That's what a true student of the mat does. They build upon the foundation that was laid before him. Oh, did you hear that? Oh, what a hot shot. Sent all the way to the outside. He's getting up, but there's danger in front of him. From the top, through the air, and connects. You want to talk about putting it all on the line. Always an extra risk when you dive ringside. So what does Tyler Bate have to do in order to leave here victorious? Bate's very good at wearing opponents down over time, but he has to be wary of tiring himself out. He has to be ready to flip that switch and not let things get to a point where he runs out of steam. Brought back into the ring from the floor now. Not the position you want to be in right now. Oh, man, taking it to the trachea. Reversal. Can he take advantage? He's burying elbows in the midsection. Oh, using the rope to their advantage. Very effective. Not a whole lot you can do with a bum wing, guys. Shoulder tackle. Now he's been put on the defensive. And a Ooh, into the cover. And he gets the shoulder up before two. Could be in search of a second win now. Setting up for something here. Right across the larynx. His shoulders are down! Oh, he kicked out. He's determined to keep this matchup going. Oh, what a DDT! Wow. Goes into the pin. Two count, Biggie digging deep for the kick out. The end was in sight. Devastating elbow. Elbow. Arm ringer applied. Arm ringer finger snap. That was nasty. That whole part of their body could be. Huge clothesline delivered. Quick thinking, managing to duck out of the way, delivers a nice back body drop. Looking, looking, looking. Oh! Will this be enough? He really thought that was it. Oh, man. Ooh. Uh, Ooh. Ow. Loving blow to the chest. Oh, the physicality on display there. Unbelievable. 
unbelievable. This match is brutality starting to show on him. Big E just put his entire massive frame behind that move. Crash lid. He can end it here. No, he pops the shoulder before three. That was a long two count there. And a snap powerbomb. Thunderous impact. Really just laying it in. The strength of Big E on display. Big E firing on all cylinders. Will this be enough? Gets the shoulder up after one. He's not even close to being done yet. Big elbow. Uh oh. Oh, the high risk doesn't pay off. That was an absolutely haphazard, uncalculated risk. And I have no doubt they're going to pay dearly for it. Getting dangerously close to our desk. That's it. I'm out of here. Tossing them aside. Heading back to the ring. And set right into the corner. Wicked clothesline. Uh, Tyler back for the standing shooting star. Standing shooting star press. Looking for a high risk, high reward situation. Flying. just used every one of his muscles to get his shoulder up there. I've lost count of how many times this match should have ended by now. Sweeping the leg to get out of that. Oh, I heard a snap. Crackle. Pop. Big E. The big ending. The big E. This spells trouble. Cover big. Shed. Perhaps worth it now. Here is your winner, Big E! A big win for Big E here tonight. I guess the big strong boy just didn't have it in him tonight. He either wasn't big enough or strong enough, or both. Los Lotharios are here. Here to chase after glory and women. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. On their way to the ring, and a combined weight of 403 pounds. Angel Garza and Humberto Los Lotharios. The Latin lovers, Los Lotharios, now trying to prove they can be lovers and fighters. A pair of high-flying heartbreakers. Now they know how to get it done in the ring and save the partying for later. And they're hoping to have a lot to celebrate tonight.
I don't see how Los Lotharios can win this match if they can't stop making eyes at the crowd. Oh, just you wait. They know in the ring it's time for business, not pleasure. And their opponents, accompanied by Jinder Mahal, at a combined weight of 572 pounds, Veer Mahal and Sangha Indus Share. We're looking at some of the most intense competitors in all of WWE, about to take part in one of the most anticipated matches ever. And the intimidating presence of Indus Sheer looming large in the ring here tonight. They've been a terror for the tag team division for a while now, and they're only getting more dominant with time. They're dead set on sending a message to all the tag teams in WWE. Nothing can stand in their way. And they already look primed to continue that message here. And let's not forget about the epitome of suave in the form of Los Lotharios, both in and out of the ring. Suave? More like cocky, I'd say. Oh, what a clothesline. Snap Merritt over. Goes down low with the drop kick. Oh, the arm taking the brunt of that. Just going all out with every blow. And wait a minute. What's the manager doing under the apron? Some might see that as a weapon, but a manager is just making sure the area is safe for his client and responds with a counter of their own. Ripped in the hard way. I'll just leave it at this. Nobody comes into a match hoping to get chucked around like that. Not enough yet. Oh my gosh, a follow-up moonsault slam? Cover! Gets his shoulder up before the two count. Showing his determination there with that kick out. Oh, what a right! Yeah, that's an attitude behind it. That's how you stop your opponent. Umberto gets the better there. Getting set up for something in the corner. Gotta hurt. Hard to grab or apply a proper hold after a move like that. An overhand shot. After a string of counters. Snake eyes. Oh. Oh, what a chop. And now tying up the leg. Straight 
to the knee. An effective attack to the leg can hurt everything from balance to mobility. It can drastically limit you inside the ring. Oh, man. It's got to be demoralizing when you're the combatant on the wrong side of the double team. Maybe you want to rework the game plan about now. Oh, his shoulders are down. Two men with one common goal can be a dangerous thing. They're putting the entire locker room on notice. There is a chill in the air. The arrival of the bewitching duo, the Fire and Dawn. The following contest is a tag team match scheduled for one fall. Making their way to the ring, the team of Isla Dawn and Elba. These two women are self-proclaimed practitioners and scholars of the dark arts. And they're not afraid to use their dark powers to get ahead in WWE. Mischievous, devious, cunning, all part of Fire and Dawn's dark personas. The Scottish sorceress is ready for action. They are enchanting, they are sinister, and they are downright dangerous. Oh, yippee, it's Chelsea and Piper. Be careful, Brian. They have the general manager on speed dial. And their opponents, the team of Piper Niven and Chelsea Green. Green and Niven possess a continuity that borders the unorthodox, but when they focus on the same target, they get the job done. Yeah, they're united by their desire to rule the women's division at any cost and make the entire WWE Universe miserable. Piper Niven, Chelsea Green, ready to put the women's division on notice. An amazing blend of physical dominance and top-level trash talk. Piper and Chelsea can't be stopped. Ooh. 
we see the dark duo of Alba Fire and Isla Dawn, we're looking at a team who's hungry and on the hunt for victims. When you call yourselves the Unholy Union, you're not exactly mentoring rookies. This team's not just dangerous. These women possess a power that has the capability to level the entire women's division. Fire and Dawn threaten to unleash scorched earth. And if they have their way, it can very well happen tonight. And they are facing the surprising duo of Chelsea Green and Piper Niven. Surprising? Don't you know who that is, Brian? That's Chelsea Green and Piper Niven. One of the most dominant tag teams in the history of WWE. The only thing surprising is they allowed you to observe them. Brian, it's Byron. Oh, step up in Zagari. A uh, quick response to Fire's offense. Ooh, what a four club. Well, this is just ruthlessness personified. Rapid forearm rakes. Well, this is a warning to grab our stuff and go. Keep it in the ring, please. Saxton's a very fragile boy. Boom! Toss back into the ring. Into the corner now. Knife edge chop. Losses their opponent down. Middle rope blocks with a moose. Makes the cover. Kick out at one. Still has enough energy for the simple kick out. Dismantling the arm in the corner. Gotta hurt. Trying to take away that grip, that range of motion on that end. Chelsea one step ahead. She sent flying into the corner. That was some heavy pressure applied to the arm. That arm's gonna be sore for a while. Could affect all their offense. Going after the arm here. She's got an answer for that. to her partner, Tag. Oh, man, that was nasty. Oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. Boss man slam. Nice. That'll need to wake you up or knock you out. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Suplex. Just an incredible amount of will this be enough? It's still hanging on. Wow. Snap man right. Surfboard. She's trying desperately to make it to the bottom rope and maybe and finally breaks it. 
She's lucky she got out in time. Big forearm. And she dodged that one nicely. Oh, this. What a headbutt. That should do it right there. And a strong kick out in one. Still has a great amount of fight in them. Not going to let it end like this. Tagging her partner in. Hurricane Rana. Unbelievable athleticism. Oh! Left by the turnbuckles. Flying shoulder block. Alba expected that one. Ooh, what a forearm club. She's got it. Got her shoulders down. She gets the shoulder up. Obviously still has some fight left. Yeah. Has an answer for Niven. Placing their opponent in position for the second row. Moonsault. She just rocked Piper there, managing to shake the powerhouse. That innovative style of Alba paid off. Uh-oh. Oh, just turn that around. <laughs> Flinged across the way. <laughs> Stiff headbutt. Tagged in. She says, no thanks. No way! Ah, oh, straight to the floor! Tempted fate and paid dearly for it. That haphazard approach definitely proved costly. Ouch! Drop kick on target! Cover here! Oh, and she picked up a monumental win! Here are your winners, the team of Piper Niven and Chelsea Green. This isn't the result Alba Fire and Isla Dawn thought they were destined for. I'm kind of worried. Alba and Isla might try to curse or hex their opponents. Anything to get revenge. This tag team prepared for action and getting jumped by their opponents. The match hasn't even officially started yet. Well, obviously now this team is not going to be 100%. I mean, they could have suffered a serious injury during that attack. Glad to see all the superstars involved have made it into the ring. But this is no longer a fair fight after that shocking assault while making their way to the ring. I got to imagine that brutal assault has taken some kind of toll, though. Yeah, as this match goes on, the lasting effects of that attack might become a factor. He turns it around. Dax gets countered. Oh. All the way up and around the world. Crucifix head scissors. Sometimes you just gotta show off and show out. Hooked up. DDT. And finds a counter. 
A big kick to the gut and a thunderous forearm to follow. Great reaction from Kofi. Oh, what an uppercut. An early pin attempt. Only getting one out of that pin. He's really trying to rush this match. Placing them right where they want them into the corner. Gar scraping over the eyes. What a leg drop across the rope. So some might call that showing off, but what a display. What a way to flaunt your abilities. Slam. Vicious shoulder tackle in the corner. That's a free fall. Tagged into the action. Pinpointing the leg in the corner. Tendons and ligaments in the leg can be easily damaged by that. Into the corner he goes, a perfectly placed target. And Tony didn't see that coming. in the leg with that move. Goes without saying, but a leg injury will hamper your ability to do just about anything. Come on, breaker. Here he comes off the tag. Using the ropes. Bam. Super kick! He's absorbed some damage already. I think Woods may have cracked a smile when he connected with that attack. Tags made. You can bet they're looking for something doubly painful. We're about to see it. Oh, they finish each other's sentences. They finish each other's moves. That's tag team excellence right there, gentlemen. Right on point. Corner Tag now. Oh, draping double axe handle. Putting up a united front as this match continues. Able to get the advantage here. Solely focused on punishing the leg. About to be the proverbial one-legged man in the you-know-what kicking contest. Russian leg sweep. He started. He could pin his opponent right here. And he powers out. He got close there. It could be do or die time. Hip drop. I've been waiting to see that. Carefully placed stop to the arm. D'Angelo one step ahead. And he sends him into the corner. Ooh. Look at the body shots left and right. Any form of consideration seems to have left this rivalry with each passing week. When animosity runs this deep in your veins, Cole, I don't care who you are, you reach animalistic levels of desperation. Well, let's hope they can hang on to a small bit of their humanity, guys. He's going for the pin. This could be it. Oh. A defiant kick out after one. Giving a massive effort to overcome the pin attempt. Pinpointing the leg. Ooh. Switches it back around. Uh-oh. There's the backbreaker. 
And a hammer fist right across the collarbone. He must have seen that coming. With a wheelbarrow face buster. Cover. Maybe not. The breakup. Woods is thinking big here. Sky high. Missile drop kick. Kobe Kingston is tagged in. Boom. Double leg takedown. Stop. Looking wobbly in the corner. Uh-oh. Dax gets countered. Tag is made. to have in store. And a double shoulder block. And that assault thwarted Xavier Woods there. Yeah, they stuck it out through this match, but it wouldn't hurt to go for the tag soon here. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. Gets the tag. him with the counter. Placing them into the corner. Up on the turnbuckle now. This game's about winning at any and all costs. This competitor knows exactly what they want to do. Perched on the top row. Here it is. Great in separation here. Boom. Right across the small of the back. Turn around on Woods. Oh, look out. Big collision on the splash. That's gotta be it. Hey, wait, 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 wait. How can that be fair? Come on, Rep. Keep these guys in check. Reversal. Can they go on the attack? Lights out. Now tracking the opposition. Got him set up. A tag made. Oh, I think something bad is about to happen to their opponent. Down they go. Will Xavier put it away here? Makes a cover. Oh, come on, ref. Get some control. Shut up, Byron. Kofi <laughs> Kingston. How about a little? What a counter by Tony. Xavier Woods in with the tag. Ooh! The pillars of this 
building must be crumbling from the energy these fans are putting out right now. These superstars are giving it their all, and this audience is giving it right back. Carefully measured guillotine across the neck. And Xavier Woods looking to hype himself up here. took a sneak attack to pull it off. You don't have to like it, but they got the job done. Only through the use of nasty tactics. That's not a win worth bragging about in my book. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, accompanied by Kevin Owens. From Montreal, Quebec, Canada. Weighing in at 212 pounds. Sammy Zayn! Matches like these, with talent of this caliber, this is why sports entertainment is in art form. Someone's about to be taught a grappling lesson. A painful one, no doubt. And his opponent from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, weighing in at 193 pounds, Drew Gulak! Drew Gulak ready to tie the competition up in knots. Drew Gulak is a walking compendium of wrestling knowledge. Well, that's how Gulak balances the scales against bigger opponents. Ready to outsmart and outfight anybody. Drew 
Gulak seems to always have a chip on his shoulder, always fighting hard like he's got something to prove and everything to lose. It's one of the many things I respect about Gulak, along with the impressive in-ring skill set he's developed over nearly two decades. Yeah, and when Gulak combines all that in-ring knowledge with his tenacious attitude, he's been known to produce some pretty spectacular results. And standing across the ring from him is an incredible competitor in Sami Zayn. When that bell rings and Sami goes in, he leaves it all in the ring. Sami lives that DIY ethos. Sami Zayn takes pomp and circumstance and kicks it out the window. Sami's here to put in the work and take care of business. Great counter, impressive ring IQ on display there. Oh, running STO plants him. Nicely done. Look at this, snap suplex. Penny predicament, shoulders down. He thought he did more damage than he actually did. This is just brute. Oh, my goodness, absolute dominance. Oh, reversal catches Gulak. Sami Zayn turning. Oh, taking a right to it. No waiting. You really have to throw caution to the wind to even consider hitting something like that. with an elbow. Can he say? Takedown. Incredibly important moment right there, being able to get to the ropes. It can't be understood. Cover. And the shoulder's up in time. Yeah, it's going to take more than that. Kick right to the ribs. And there's more to come. Brain Buster. And a maneuver like that will leave you on unsteady legs, to say the least. If Drew Gulak wants to pick up the win tonight, he needs to control the pace. A methodical approach will ensure his opponent's destruction. I think you're onto something there, Corey, and I'm sure Gulak would love the opportunity to slowly pull apart his opponent. And painful as well. Off into the pin. Gets the shoulder up. Wow, what's it going to take? Just using the adrenaline to stay in the match. We're no closer to a winner just yet. A uh, timely counter by Zayn. There's some power behind that pump. Boy, this could be a turning point in this matchup. What's he going to do here? Ooh, sent to the outside. This could get dangerous in a hurry. Real dangerous. Oh. Here he comes. Boom. That's playing fast and loose with your own body. That is weaponizing your body. That's what that was. Using the elbow to escape the attack. Unbelievable athleticism. Lots of potential for injury here at ringside. These superstars better be careful. The floor, the barricades, our table. None of these things are fun to collide with. Oh, attacked in the midsection. Oh, look out. It's on now. Oh. It looks like we've got ourselves a brawl here. Back and forth. Neither one giving up any ground. This is a war of attrition with neither superstar wanting to be the one who surrenders. Toe to toe, treating each other like heavy bags. WWE Universe appreciating these athletes going all out. Stop in the leg. Uh oh. Jumps the elbow. Trying to debilitate the capability to stand. He had it scouted. Vicious right forearm. Spike down. Has him up for the power slam. Counter into an inverted DDT. Legs caught. What's he planning to do here? Roll him out his belly. Single leg crab. Single leg Boston. He's got to relieve the pressure. And escapes. Placed into the corner. Turning the tables. Here's the torture rack. Racked up. Not finished yet. Into a neck breaker. A no-frills assault by Gulek. That's what a true master of his craft is capable of. Two. Breaks the count. 
Somehow, some way, he is still in this. These two showing how well Scott. The Gulak, the Gulak is locked in. Oh, Sami Zayn's closing in. It could be tap out time. Can Sami. Oh, rolls through. Nice escape. Whoa, leaping through the shoulders down. For Sami Zayn. Here is your winner, Sami Zayn. Sami Zayn standing victorious in the ring. And I guess Gulak needs to double check the numbers in his PowerPoint presentation to figure out exactly what went wrong tonight. Finn Balor has arrived. Say hello to the Prince of Judgment. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing the Judgment Day from Bray, County Wicklow, Ireland. Weighing in at 190 pounds, one half of the SmackDown Tag Team Champions and one half of the NXT Tag Team Champions, Finn Balor. You know, Finn Balor used to have such a deep connection with the WWE Universe, but he's thrown all that away with this new attitude. I'd argue that was the smartest thing that Balor's ever done. Finn used to be the guy who let glory slip through his fingers, who fell just short of expectations, but now he's living up to his hype and much more. Balor famously became the first ever Universal Champion, but had to surrender the title to injury. And he's had some measure of success since then, but he's become bitter, he's become jaded. Uh, you speak lies, Cole. Finn Balor simply realigned his values. He knows now what he must do to return to the mountaintop, and he's more prepared to do so. Presenting the OC by way of Tokyo, Japan, weighing in at 292 pounds, Luke Gallows. He may be fun-loving outside of the ring, but he is all business in it. And he has made that painfully obvious time after time. One of the best big men the WWE Universe has ever seen. He's earned a ton of tag titles, looking to repeat the same success on his own. Starting things off with Big Luke Gallows, who has really made a name for himself as the quintessential faction heavy. When it comes to the OC, the club, whatever you want to call him, Gallows is the guy they can call in to drop the hammer because he does what he does well, and he does it for quite a pretty penny. 
Gallows is truly a man who loves what he does. Finn Balor is one of the most decorated superstars in the entire world, though. Making a name for himself in Europe and Japan before conquering NXT and WWE as a whole. Basically, you have to bring your A game when you're taking on Balor because he is on a whole other level. Basement drop kick. Gonna wear down their opponent. Oh, with the heel hook stretch. Nobody likes you. <laughs> Clothesline attempt countered into an STO. Just carrying the opposition anywhere they want. Piercing the throat. Dodges the attack just a smidge quicker. Gallo's aggression seemed to be felled by that attack. Yeah, Balor taking a vicious approach with that maneuver, doing what it takes to produce results. With a high-risk style like Finn Balor's, the smartest thing to do is get the advantage of him and simply bide your time until an opening arises to make him crash and burn. Yes, timing is everything against a high-risk talent like Balor. Big boot! Jeez! Scouted. STO takedown. This could be it. Cover. Oh my, how in the world did he kick out of that? Not time to expect victory yet. And that was offense with a hurtful purpose. Prying their opponent's arm out. Carefully measured double stop. Finn Balor with 19, and he goes for the pin. And what a win for this superstar! An incredible matchup, highly competitive, and this superstar certainly earned the right to be the victor. But. Oh, well. got a steel chair. Come Wear on. your opponent out. This is too far. A statement made tonight.
The American Nightmare is here. The son of a son of a plumber looking to continue the Rhodes legacy. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Atlanta, Georgia. Weighing in at 220 pounds. The American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. You just have to be impressed with the form that Cody Rhodes has taken. He's become a leader, a mentor, and a main eventer. Those are all great things to be, Saxton, but we all know what Cody truly wants to be more than anything else is a world champion. Hard times and perseverance, Cody Rhodes embodies them all. All in the name of finishing the story that has eluded his father. Cody seems dead set on reaching the pinnacle in the name of the Rhodes family. The Scottish warrior, Drew McIntyre, has arrived. And a fight is about to start. We have learned that wherever McIntyre goes, brutality follows. Right now, it is McIntyre who is leading the WWE Universe into battle. Sword or no sword, Drew McIntyre is a dangerous, dangerous man. McIntyre is as physical as it gets. He is not afraid to get down in the dirt or throw hands. Defiant, bold, Drew McIntyre bows to no man. He is as in your face as they come. A mass of man ready to go to war. With Cody Rhodes, there's a resilience there that you just don't always see these days. A fortitude that keeps him going, even if it's not always in his best interest. Cody will always keep fighting no matter what. The problem is, sometimes he'll keep fighting even when his body doesn't want to. An admirable quality to have, but also a dangerous one. The Rhodes will always say he fights more with his heart than his mind. And let's hope he's ready to take on Drew McIntyre, a superstar whose face is next to the definition of determined. There is no one who exemplifies that more than Drew McIntyre. We've seen him at his lowest and fight his way back to reach the pinnacle of his career. I think he's carrying that same determination in this match here tonight. And Cody didn't see that coming. Stop in the leg. Whoa, 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 wait a second. Hoisted all the way up. I felt the vibration of that one from all the way over here. Saw that one coming, took advantage. Drew McIntyre is always willing to drag his opponents to hell and back for the victory, no matter who he's facing. That has to be a concern of his opponent here tonight, Corey. Of course it's going to be a concern, Cole, but just accepting that and facing McIntyre head-on could change the outlook of this match. If you can drag McIntyre into those depths before he has a chance to realize it... And he goes for the pin. Oh, somehow! Still in it. 
Oh, man, he is more than fired up right now. Not a forearm. Makes him pay with a counter. Great strength being shown here. Ooh, pinpointing the trachea. Stiff elbow will break that up. One response after another. Back and forth we go. Denied with an elbow. And both athletes showing that they have each other's number. Held in a perilous position. Oh, right to the throat. Ooh. Carefully placed stop to the arm. Wrapping the arm over that top rope. Attacking the arm. Making the arm numb makes your opponent very vulnerable. Uh-oh! Way to steer clear. McIntyre might have him. Cover! He stays alive, he stays alive. The American Nightmare able to persevere here. Absolutely incredible. McIntyre needs to find a recourse, find another option to take this match. Well, I count along if you want. The 10 beats of the bottom. Shot after shot after shot. My goodness. McIntyre with an incredibly ruthless sequence. Next level brutality coming from McIntyre. German! Just pure dominance. Taking the fight near our announce table. I really hope we get these desks at a discount. Wow! Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Jarring impact. And Rhodes able to reverse that. And Cody puts a stop to the momentum that was mounting against him. Cody Rhodes tipping the scales a bit here. Oh, caught him. Uh-oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Pedigree by Rhodes. Perfectly delivered, and Cody's gambles are paying off. Put all your chips on the table and let it ride on Rhodes. What are you guys thinking? Obviously not about the ref's count, Cole. Yeah. And he gets set back into the ring. Up to the top rope now. Uh-oh, way too the mark. Cody Rhodes has him set up. The crossroads. Can that finish McIntyre? Is it enough? The cover. What in the world? The Scottish warrior refusing to lay down his sword just yet. But you have to think that took a lot out of him. It looks like Cody is going to have to readjust, maybe strategize here. He thought that was it, but somehow it wasn't. Dropped right on their face. After all we've seen, these men are still not finished. There's a fire burning inside these competitors that won't allow them to quit. Neither superstar giving an inch here. Two titans trading strikes and refusing to back down. Just teeing off with that fight for everybody. So much pride, so much resiliency on display. Nice side headlock applied. Oh. Good measure. Cody sizing him up, getting ready. Rhodes has his opponent oh, for the crossroads. Rhodes just turned the lights out. Trying to end it. No, he beats the count. Where in the world did Drew McIntyre find the strength, find the heart to just power out like that? I don't know, but also I don't know how much longer he can go on. Disbelief on the face of the American Nightmare. What's he gonna have to do to put this away? Uh-oh. Wait. Oh, diving moonsault for the win. Two. That's it. The blood and sweat put into this match. Well worth it. Here is your winner, the Results of this battle plain to see on their face. At least they can say they won the match. Yeah, the American Nightmare had a game plan and it paid off tremendously.
Well, you know, this ominous tune is just a prelude to the toll of man. A competitor with seemingly no weaknesses, no fears, and here he is, carrying Cross. Wait a minute. Is that? Yes, it is. And things breaking down before the match even starts. At a certain point, you have to be ready for something like this. You get looking for the eye, looking for the eye. This could be it. Oh. Reverse counter. Nice knee. Here's the pump handle. Suplex. Launched. Vicious right forearm. One step ahead of Cross. Oh, God, face first. Oh, my goodness. Kick to the spine. Crafty way to get out of hard there. Corey, how do you deal with a master of Sambo and catch wrestling like Karrion Cross? What you have to do is nullify Cross's extensive training by making this your kind of fight, not his. If you can force him outside of his comfort zone and get him off balance, then his skills aren't nearly as useful. He's outside the ring now. Hope he's got a plan. And now gets tossed into the ring. Oh, did we just see a two fly out? Oh, this is just too far. Get some control in there. Oh, look at this aggression, just pure brutality. Come on, easy. He avoids the damage. Placed in the corner. Cross gets out of the way. Getting carried. Unsure what they're thinking. Check your face out of that one. Oh, targeting the stomach. Now a series of vicious stunts and repeated impact. That can't be enough, can it? Kicks out. Trying to get this over with pronto. Catches the kick. Spectacular counter into a dragon screw. They are fading off the WWE fans, now pinning the arm down, and goodness gracious. Each of those boots seem to get heavier with each blow. Enable the counter. Good grief, man. This is vicious. Just never had a chance to block any of those. Assailing the joints of the leg. Powerless position to be in right now. Ooh, right to the floor. Oh, this is just too far. Get some control in there. Oh, it is aggression, just oh. pure brutality. Come on, easy. Dodges. Look at this here, arm wrench. There is a fine line between strain and pain when your shoulder is worked like that. The speed with that. He thinks he has it. And he kicks out at two. He's still in the fight, but for how much longer? And he's able to reverse. Ross showing outrageous power with the F-10. Here's the cover. Just after two. Close call. That was almost lights out. Oh, Insecurity. No, I'm ending this fight right there. That's the cover. Oh, shoulder up before three. 
The sands of the hourglass were dwindling for Cross, and he was able to flip it. That was a golden opportunity to end things. Now he's got to hope the opportunity presents itself again. Oh, man, that'll bend your arm. He is just reeling from that offense. Well, all things considered, Cole, it's not a bad condition to be in at this point in the match. Oh, a shot to the back. Headed to the top now. Taking flight. He skirts around it. All ready to go. And to the back of the neck. Wow, stolen from his opponent's artillery. The cover. Weird. No end. Darwin's. Here is your winner. Supernova 11. No Karrion Cross goes down in defeat. Cross isn't the type to forgive or forget, so let's not assume this is over.